Yo, what is up guys? It's Bankrupt Dope back with another video and today we are playing Diz Light. I've been wanting to play this game and post on the channel for a minute, but I kind of forgot to. This game got very difficult and I kind of just put it on the back burner and I never looked back. But I decided I want to go back to it because this is the game that I said that I wanted to upload but then I just never did. But here we are. And I'm not even gonna lie, it was very difficult to try to get this to record. Because every time I click the record button, the audio resets back to max volume for some weird reason. I don't understand why, but every time I click the record, it just maxed out the volume. But I forgot the way the screen recording works is based off of the actual volume on the sides, like on the side rockers. So I had to turn that down. So hopefully you guys can hear it. But this is Dislike. This is the game that I want to play. It's essentially if a turn-based game. You have, have power, five characters up. on the field. And you attack. It's very simple. It's very straightforward. And, you know, just to show you an example of what kind of game this is. Because it's, I'm not good at describing things. I've learned that in my life. Very bad at it. We're going to take on a mission. A very simple mission. But... This is the game right here. So you see I have my troop down there at the bottom. We will skip this because we don't want the dialogue. We don't care about none of that. We, we just want to see the gameplay. So you see I have five characters. We'll slow it down for the one time. Very rarely do I slow it down. Just They have some nice animations, but I'm not actually sure how to trigger the animations. But very nice animations in this game. You see I have five characters. You do one attack at a time. So I'm going to choose that one. This is AOE. AOE attacks all three characters on the other side. And it's knockout because this level is very low. So, yeah, this is going to be very simple. But the, the scaling in this game is very strange. You see this is the first level where I'm taking damage. It's crazy. But I do love the gameplay of this game. It's very interesting and good to me. The only problem is, boy, is it the damage on this game. Okay, here's the animation. There we go. That was one animation out of three. But the animations are really nice whenever they trigger. And it, it, it's pretty fun. Aside from the extreme ramp up at certain levels where it's all like. And leveling up also takes a little bit. Like a lot of bit. Not a little bit. It takes a lot to level up. But I'm not going to say it's pay to win. But I just haven't figured out the best way to play the game yet. But what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of summoning because, you know, I'm addicted to doing that. I just have a problem. So we're going to try to get this guy. Would it be Jeb Ahmed? We're going to try to get this guy. So let's go. And this is, a, as you can tell, this is a very music-based game, you know. Like, a lot of, like, you know, like you said, spin the records. They have, the tracks in the game are pretty nice. When you finish a round of a game, the, the character, like, you know... They sing to you as you win. It's very interesting and different. But it's nice. I enjoy it. It's different. You see the characters? Oh, this is a new character for me. I have not gotten this character before. Jacob. All right, cool. I love getting new characters. That's always nice. All right. We got Jacob Drum again? Is that how say his name? What does he do? Okay, so deal damage to enemy equal to 100%. Attack with the chance of inflicting poison for two turns. That's his basic attack. Then his second attack grants fangs to all allies, espers for two turns. During which time receiving damage has a 50% chance of inflicting poison on an attacker. That actually seems pretty cool. And then his necessarily ultimate deals 100% damage to all enemies equal to 100% of an attack with a 7% chance of inflicting poison for two turns this attack can't be dodged that actually seems very good not gonna lie I would not mind pulling some more copies of him but we're gonna go again the more characters that I can get the better oh this seems very bad Wow. 
Did I just get all blue characters? That's so bad. Oh, man. My luck here is pitiful. I'm like, no, yeah, this this has to be the... This is that. That was terrible. No redeeming qualities about that multi right there. Now, you know, we're going to do three singles just to rock it out. If it's blue, we will just press the screen because who cares? Can't really skip now that I'm actually sitting here looking at it. At least give me a purple character, a four star, please. Thank you. That person is new. Go. Okay. All right. A whole bunch of Chinese poo. Puh, poo. I don't know. But a whole bunch of them. All right. So Espers. Those are your characters. As you can see, these are the characters that I have. This is the only five-star character that I have, which essentially was like guaranteed. He was like, hey, he was pretty much like the gimme character of the game. And unfortunately, he's just not that good for carrying you through the game. Like I said, this game gets crazy hard. But these are the, the characters you see in the front are the main characters that you... I would give you a breakdown on the characters, but I feel like that'd be a lot easier to do when I'm actually playing the game. And I just got this character because, you know, I just bought things. It's supposed to be a good support. So that, let me actually read, it off, read these off. So it deals damage to an enemy equal to 100%. That's just simple. Who cares? We don't actually care about that. Purifies all debuffs from a teammate, reducing their ability cooldown by one, and granting Brissing, Brissing Gaming's watch for two turns. I don't know what the world that means. Ah, it tells you what that is right there on the left. Immune to all debuffs, grants 50% bonus attack power at the end of each teammate's turn. That's actually very good. Three turn cooldown. This ability can't be upgraded. That sucks. And then Seabreeze, Sonata deals damage to all enemies equal to 90% of attack, including inflicting speed down for two turns and lowering attack power by 30%. This character actually seems very good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to level this character up and I'm going to try to do a stage that I am stuck on and see if we can beat it. Alright, we're back. Here I am. Chapter 9. This is where I am. Actually, I'm going to go back again. I completely forgot to do something that's very important. Okay, we are officially back. Man, oh man, the level up in this system for like your relics, which give you power enhancements, takes forever. That took me so long to get done because it has to show you a whole animation and it's actually irritating because you can fail a lot. So we're going to put the game back on three times because you can fail a lot. Now, obviously, I don't think I'll need to do anything except this because we can lower their speed and their AP, which will be very useful. So we're going to actually activate this Time for a and we do get the animation. Oh, well, they resisted it. That's very unfortunate. Look at the damage I've already taken. I'm gonna go for that. And we're gonna try to freeze this guy. Please. Nice, 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 nice. I think we can take him out, possibly. Okay, nice. Ooh, that did so much damage. You guys saw how much damage that just did. This man did a normal attack. Now he got a critical rate up and he knocks out my first player. Um We're actually gonna We're not gonna use that. That doesn't seem necessary yet. We'll do this on him. Even though the other person's gonna attack next. Oh, and he's stunned. Okay, we'll actually go for this. Just to get the two knockouts. Go for that. She's stunned. Now we're going to take another hit there. Ah, oh, that's very irritating. All right, and that should be a knockout. Nice. All right, wave two. Now, this is where things get very difficult for your boy. We're going to lower their power and go for... And their speed. That's what we're going to go for. Okay, it actually worked this time. 
So now we're going to go for this attack here. Very big damage. We are going to focus on him because he can like turn your characters. He can essentially completely nullify your characters from doing anything for like, I believe like Body. two turns. And it's very irritating. So now we're going to go for this. Oh, that hurt. And he did it to her, of course. So now she's completely out of the game, essentially. And look at those attack ups. So we can take... Who's gonna... Oh, he's about to attack again. So we're gonna take him out. Yep, and it, and it knocked off the ability as well. So we'll go for this to deal AOE damage. And, and look at that knockoff that he just did to our health bar. And that should end it. Yes. Okay, I finally beat this stage. This stage is just... Watch out! I've been stuck on this stage. This is why I stopped playing the game. Because I could not get past this. But we finally got past it. But yeah, that's, this is this like. I honestly find this game pretty enjoyable, you know. It's new. It's different. At least in terms of the music. Like, it, it's just obviously a turn-based, you know, kind of RPG style game. Back and forth. Very straightforward. But find it very entertaining you know they have a lot of different game modes they have trials for you to do where you can do like a little you fight like a gauntlet of enemies till you get to the boss you have just a big boss fight they have a lot of different things and they even have like a guitar hero kind of mode which we'll get into all that stuff later if you guys enjoy it but if you don't well we won't dabble into it but that's it for this video just an introduction video to the game thank you for watching if you watch i appreciate y'all don't forget to drop a like comment something down below subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see y'all later. Peace.